the you know, movie was actually it was uh it was beautiful because it kind of captured like it basically captured the part like of my grandfather that most people don't really see and it kind of like gave you the like the political history like if you're growing up in Jamaica like he'd be like a Malcolm X mm-hmm. or like a, or like a Martin Luther King to Jamaican kids you know nice. so seeing a story that's not really like told in the United States that much being played on front screen is you know you know it was beautiful because it kind of shows like like I want to get like so deep into it, kind of spoilers but like like the, the things behind the movie like the stuff that they didn't show in the movie like the, the actual history it's like a microcosm of what's happening now in America today so that movie is definitely needed at the time that it came and it shows what type of courage you had to have to really like you know stand against the anti-flow you know like the like the, the off wave shining like a diamond that's already home trying to reach the top of my soul boy. she got perfect time and i'm always know how to bring the top of the soul boy. Time of the soul bone. Time is flying. Man, we just did this, didn't we? Hey, y'all feel like this speed up thing? We said, man, should buy Shalom every time because without that focal point, a lot of people be getting dizzy right now. Uh, you know? God, what is time? It's definitely good to be here. Good to see y'all. We, how we reeling around here? We in battle time. How y'all reeling, man? I know it's been a lot of uh, a lot of drop dropping. You know, everyone's been dropping that drop, man. Shout out to all the kinds out there. No matter who you are, where you are, man. You know, we, we you know we gonna give you a soul bone hag. Our, <laughs> our history right month. Con- this is our history month. Right we don't call con- it black studio, history. Man. It's we're, our history. Where a kind could be a con. Yeah. Um, we want this to be a spot that you can have these type of conversations. You know, we we gonna hit them. You know, right. <laughs> Right with the bullseye, the same, you know, dragonfly perspective we have in this, doing these videos, whatever is going to come mm-hmm. right here in a, in a place that we can have these conversations, bring cons in, and, you know what I mean, just get it from the heart bone. Con, That's all we're doing. Time, man, real time. time. And there's so much more coming out of the, our platforms and different ways we want to spread the drop, you know, how we're dropping it. But just shout out to all the cons that's dropping it. Huh. You know what I mean? Because y'all inspired me out. personally. Oh, I'm like, I got to keep it up, out. man. You know, I got to keep oh. up. It's a lot of drop out here, man, for real, for real. So we're gonna start out with some open and drop, and then we're gonna, you know, have a great conversation with Kai, man. Um, you know, this is, you know, first of all, shout out to the Khan Zion Marley. I just wanna uh, Zion Marley. I always say Zion Marley. In the building. <laughs> we got our Zion, Zion in the building. Uh, we're gonna bring him in later, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I just wanna just give him the congrat, you know, I just wanna give Absolutely. the AI with the congrats to the Khan. He's just been doing so well. It's and I can't wait to just have a conversation to share all the Great achievements, the bros happen, you know, God. just personally happen. And then, of course, in his family, man, uh, I don't know if you got a chance to see the, the I new did. flick. One I love. Absolutely, All right, man. Absolutely. Shout out to the Con family, God. man. man. Shout out to the I absolutely the, saw it. You know, salute to the, you know, Marley family. Yo, X marks um, the spot. You, you want to give your breakdown now? You want to wait till um, you. Um, <laughs> you know, I do want to rock on the on the want? um the name Nestor. You know, it came okay. out um when when a uh, um that uncle bob's real name is nestor and i was uh, like man nestorian i was like okay because they said uh, nestor and that means messenger i was like okay yeah uh, see, okay i see say we weren't wrong man <laughs> We're talking press man. <laughs> the one priesthood. love let's priesthood. go but for sure you got that drive but it, it happened in uh jamaica and saint anne and uh actually my great grandfather is from the saint anne area of Gosh. jamaica so it uh hit hit home for me so it was um it was great i learned a few things you know um i don't want to spoil it i'd save some for the combo but bit. yeah i did it, we checked it out it was great and i um i appreciate the fact that the family um from what i'm understanding had a lot of input into the production of the film so i'm glad okay. that they were able to 
you know, control the narrative and get satisfaction out of the production. So okay. for those that don't for that. know, this might be might be your first time seeing anything about drop so boom. It's tight bad zombie, man. It's tight battle, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just need you to understand. You're sitting with a, a, a lady dragon on the wall. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, clap it up for tight battle. Um, I mean, just your inspiration to me personally in this investigation, man, I'll, I'll be spiraling out of control without, you know, knowing that there's connected points. And you gave us some of them foundational connection points that now we can't get lost. You know, now we can walk different trails and have these beacons of tide battle, <laughs> tide battle poetry. Uh, just give us, you know, just bring us into all all the, uh, you know, up upcomings and, and uh, all the things you're dropping with that in Sweet Miracles. I just uh, want to bring it in. Uh, yes. Um, so, yeah, I've been, you know, trying to preserve my dad's uh-huh. legacy. You know, I, we're, we're out here talking about preserving legacies. And my dad was actually instrumental in the music industry during the 70s with my cousin, Little Richard. So, you know, I've been uh-huh. um, spending a lot of my time making sure that, that his perspective gets captured so that his family and legacy has that out there. And, you know, our story gets told from our perspective. We got a lot of people out there telling it from their perspective. So I'm using um, the creation of Sweet Miracles to um, advocate for some of those things, along with the um, senior abuse and neglect of our elderly populations, and how it all kind of ties together for me with my dad being who he is and the circumstances surrounding his demise. So Mm. just kind of putting all of that together in a format from how I can, it's not professional. It's just me documenting my my dad, my dad's journey, my journey, and for my family. So that and wow. and working on the Thai battle poetry, trying to get that on the uh, drop the uh, ether packs for you guys. Let's get, so. it. Let's get these packs yeah. popping. Well, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Just a little something. No matter how long it takes, man, we gonna get it. You know, what <laughs> I mean, it's our time right now. We know it's the way. <laughs> and just getting back, you you say senior abuse, and that's a topic that people brush over like they don't even understand what you're saying you know what mm-hmm. i mean um you know like what is it obviously it's not you know it's right. seeing your abuse but right so um, what's happening though you know what i mean well what's what's happening is um there's a there's this abuse and exploitation and neglect of our elderly population that is taking place with whether it's in nursing homes or at home or you know any of these Um, facilities that are supposed to be providing them comfort cares and taking care of them that a lot of them are funded by the government and there's a lot of again crime and neglect that goes on in these facilities that does wind up in uh, death in a lot of cases and that allows for the exploitation of their things and a lot of it is legacies is money is identity so a lot of things they all tie together for me i'm able to see it on so many different levels but yeah we have to start Mm. looking at this because they're literally stealing our people's identities and selling them in the in the black markets or whatever they're calling these things and they're just brushing them off as coming off oh we had a cyber attack or oh you know you just we had just somebody broke and breached their account. Well, we're, they, they're making light of these things, but no, this is genocide. It's like literally part of the genocide that has been taking place on our people for a very long time. So, but yeah, for me, it all ties together. So, yeah. So obviously, fam, we got to rally around this, you know what I mean? And we're going to get the step-by-step of Sweet Miracles as, you know, each of those checkpoints you want to share. Okay. We're going to sign in with you and whatever help we can give uh regarding you know uh elderly abuse because we all have we all become this right you know what i mean like <laughs> we all got you know our I mean, you know loved ones you know what i'm saying that's being affected in these areas and even the ones you don't know like you know it gets so harsh and so crazy and aqua tide is, is giving us a frequency to vibe up to you know that we can you know see what's going on and maybe have a communication method that people can speak up on right. what's popping and Drop Nation mm-hmm. could, you know, gather around. And, you know what I mean? Legally, we, we got lawyers in Drop Nation. We got people behind the scenes and, and every, you know, yeah. everybody recon. Yeah. Don't tell me you ain't recon. Yeah. I want to right. slap the table too hard. Hey. I, I know we got reconners in every field. So let's, you know, rally around. Aqua Tide Bat, Zion. Any um, way that they can 
Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, right now, it's the legal. The legal um, aspect of it is is the biggest um, thing because you have to find representation. You have to find somebody that's that believes in your story. Like it's like this weird idea of how do you seek justice in a world that doesn't really care about justice anymore. So it's like. Yeah, but um, definitely. Reach out to you on. Uh, um, yeah, you can reach out reach out IG. to me at uh, on IG for sure at a uh, Battle Tie on, uh, and uh, Soul Bone Podcast, and you can also head up Sweet Miracles at uh, Gmail dot com. Man, let's get it. You know what I mean? Drop is, nation. I feel good about die. this. I feel good about this. Um, we were gonna do open and drop, but you know that was the drop. That was the open yeah. and drop. So I just want to bring in this con, bring in Con Marley, man. He, he's been waiting. Hey. Zion. Sometimes hey. I call him Zion. I, sometimes I call him Zonathan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trust me, he got the drop. You know, his, What's in the his night? family got the drop. His heritage got the drop, and this is all we're talking about is connecting all the rivers right now. And, Hey, the water man. Welcome to the soap ball. Welcome to the soap ball podcast. Time of the soap. Shalom, shalom to you. Pow, pow. Now it's uh, it's beautiful because you know we're reminiscing because it's been like at least like I guess right now seven years since we really like really truly linked for the first time. God. And to see the uh, where the community has gone and like the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows of like just people around and their faith and all that kind of stuff. It's just interesting, you know? And yeah. that's just dope because like the world's been changing like constantly, like every single day. And, you know, we've we've kind of stayed constant, you know? And in all that change, we, we remain like, not the same, but we remained on the same path, you know? But we, we're, we're going where we need to be going. And we we never look back, and we never really uh we never let what happened in the world change, like what we came here to do, you know. And the mission is the mission still. So, you know, it's just beautiful to really just you know be around people and meet like-minded people and just see the growth that the community has within the individuals and all that kind of stuff. So, blessing and blessing to everyone here. I want that. Hey, clap it up. With that frequency Ew. talk. Talking that frequency, man. Hey, speaking of frequency, we in that one love yeah, frequency. Yeah, we in that A-Hub, man. Hey, <laughs> hey congrats love, to con- the cons. Congrats con- to your family. Let's just yeah. bring you in on that, man. Just how you feel about the, uh, you know, beautiful time capsule that was just put down for you. Put yeah, the, uh, you. the movie was actually... It was uh it was beautiful because it kind of captured like it basically captured the part like of my grandfather that most people don't really see and it kind of like gave you the like the political history like if you're growing up in Jamaica like he'd be like a Malcolm X mm-hmm. or a, like a, or like a Martin Luther King to Jamaican kids you know right. so seeing a story that's not really like told in the United States that much being played on front screen is, you know, you know, it was beautiful because it kind of shows like, like I don't want to get like so deep into it, kind of spoilers, but like, like the the things behind the movie, like the stuff that they didn't show in the movie, like the, the actual history, it's like a microcosm of what's happening now in America today. So that movie is definitely needed at the time that it came, and it shows what type of courage you had to have to really like. You know, stand against the anti-flow. You know, like yeah. the like the the off wave. Yeah, yeah. How have you seen it? Um, you know, just from because trust me, man, Zion, man, is, is every part of this wave that we talk. <laughs> you know, what I mean, from the very beginning of beginnings. You know, what I'm saying, I, I just remember um, seeing. You know, just to bro elevate me. You know, elevate. Um, you know. The tribe around them, you know what I mean, and just be re researching, reconning, you know, um, you know, yeah, how's this, man. how's this been, just in connection with your family? Like, I, I don't know if you share any of this stuff with them, or like, do they think like, all right, that's a little too much? <laughs> you know, <what laughs> I mean? yeah. how's it been like over the last seven years, just kind of the ins and outs of your uh, research? Now I was gonna say, when you first get into it, you know, you're excited and you you want to show everybody in the world what you're learning and what you're finding out. Man. And you're just trying to you know, spread as much as you can 
Yeah. And, you know, you never get tired. And then, you know, people are just like, I'm like, well, enough with this kid, man. Uh, he's always <laughs> talking some conspiracy talk. Or he's always yeah, talking yeah, some, yeah, uh, yeah. some deep stuff, right? That's what they say, right? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, as you grow into it, you start to, like, understand that once you move past, like, the popcorn effect of, like, the truth you start to like really settle into who you are mm. and how like the truth can like define like certain things in life that were undefinable before you're starting to see the truth of you know and it's just amazing because you see it all over the world and like everywhere you find like soil you're gonna find people that want to find the root to things you know right. and like social media i say it has like it's pushes and pull, right? Because at the same time, social media is so great for like spreading. It gets you addicted to like, you know, quick stuff, like yeah. fast, uh, like basically like short videos, scrolling and all that stuff yeah. kind of gets you addicted. Yeah. So you have to take breaks from that as well and, and refresh the mind too. So yeah, you know, I'm just trying to find that balance as well in myself and trying to keep that within a, a healthy balance and try to, you know, still give information out, but also do things in uh in the real world and put my feet on the ground, you know, feed the people around me and feed the people that I can travel to and help. And that's why I'm trying to really do this uh food truck thing going. Tough, where I'm trying yeah. to uh, not only do a food truck, but do like community gardens nice. in different locations and eventually like change the way we uh, perceive like uh, fine dining, you know? I want to get like mo most things is geared to uh, appearance and look, but I want to gear things more towards health and sustainability. Nice. And I want uh, to be able to stop the, the, you know, because a lot of restaurants they waste a lot of food on the back end, mm -hmm. usually at night when it's close to the end of shift. And I want to be able to uh, circumvent that waste of food and try to feed as many hungry people as possible nice. and just keep doing that. So. We don't have to, because when you're when you're hungry, you make not so good decisions, and we want our people making the best decisions. God. So, uh -huh. You know, we want their uh, their bellies to be at least satiated, unless they're choosing to do a fast. But that has to, the intention has to be set first to choose to do a fast. Uh -huh. so, you know, we want to help the people that have no other choice. Uh -huh. What I was reading earlier, I don't even know what page it was on, but basically it was just the importance of. Uh, when you're eating f uh, fruit with seeds, like saving se saving seeds, you know, for later, like for preparation right. for a time when you will have land or when it is time to plant, like cleaning them and mm -hmm. dry drying them off and storing them Risk properly them. so that, you know, they keep for a long time when we are ready for that, mm -hmm. that wisdom and that fruit. And so do y'all uh, think that all seeds will grow everywhere? Like if you save some seeds and... They have, uh, Texas. they have different zones. They have different... Um, I hope so. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they have different zones. Or else you're screwed. That's what I, green, that's yeah. what greenhouses are You got to be in Texas. They say if we plant it, it'll grow. Huh? That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah, what I'm right. supposed to do. I waste any uh, food product, like uh, fruit product and uh, veggie product, mm -hmm. and I try to like uh, compost it and put the seeds in different spots near my house, hoping that it can grow one day. But, you know, the way the weather is working these days, you never know. Like right. where I'm at, Jersey, it could be tropic soon, so mm. you never, never really know. And uh, now compost bins is what I recommend for everybody to have, is because you want to do as much saving as possible. Mm -hmm. And when you're throwing a uh, fruit and stuff in the trash, that food can go to feed in the soil and mm -hmm. can help your crops later in the future. Okay. And if okay. we get to a point where we're like, like if you ever, you know, because we had an outage just the other day. So if you ever have like a power outage that lasts like a long period of time, you're gonna want to know how to, uh, you know, service crops and uh, you know, grow things. Mm -hmm. So I, I recommend uh, compost bins. I recommend seed banks. I recommend uh, books on identifying different wild herbs and wild bushes. And I uh, recommend uh, you know just researching fauna in your area and just seeing what it is, you know. Kind, kind. Just back on your uh great food truck, I want to kind of get more into yeah. the 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 yeah, feel I of mean. it. You know, what I mean, um, all right. So someone walks up to your food truck. Uh, 
what's the vibration immediately that you kind of want to bring him in on? And are there, are there a couple of recipes? And, you know, because I want to do a peanut butter and jelly food truck. Right. And I, and I know I shouldn't tell my idea to the world. Hey. Somebody's right. going to take this idea. Somebody got it. But, but y'all heard, heard this. Right. Heard it here I first. That, I heard that idea. <laughs> you got the P&J too? Yeah. That's all right. We can work together. Yeah, right. on, y'all know what's this called? Together. We're connected right here. It's See what happens? All right. See? See how fast it happens? Say it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know, gourmet peanut butters, like from no, all over the world. All the different types of bread. The different and types jelly. Of jelly. It's low. It's low. Low bread. Low. Protein. It keeps for a long time. You just partner with a local bread. It's, it's amazing, right? I know. I know. I know you know this. But I'm just saying, you know, so <laughs> I feel you on it. Um, that's the vibe. You know, I want P&J to be the vibe. You know what I mean? Like, just bring us more into your vibe and, you know, just what's on the menu and uh, the name of your uh, uh, truck. So uh, the first thing I want people to look at or, like, think about when they first – Come around the truck is a uh, indigo because that's going to be the color that I'm, I'm working with for the uh, the truck indigo because mm. we're like the indigo children huh. and the rainbow the original rainbow which was a covenant between you know you most go. high and noah Talk which was a seven out uh, of seven strip rainbow huh. which had indigo in it huh. but these days they take the indigo out wow. so i want to remember the lost ones or the forgotten ones and that's yeah. the indigo children so uh that purple the, exactly the purple right and <laughs> i want people to understand is that the, the food that i'm trying to do i'm trying to replicate traditional food that we grew up on in the south in jamaica uh up north as well and try to turn it into a more plant-based healing type of vibe to it so people can still have that good taste but they cannot feel guilty about eating it as well okay. and, like I'm that. trying to, uh, be also, I'm trying to uh, get it to a point where, like, we discover, like, I want to build, I want, have you ever heard of a blue zone? Yeah. Yes. Basically, yes. I want to promote building blue zones wherever we go, you know, and, like, mm -hmm. basically bringing a blue zone near you, mm -hmm. so an indigo zone, if you will, <laughs> and and the name of the truck is Mana Merkava, which means, mm -hmm. like, uh, chariot or basically chariot of mana and the, you know the mana was given to uh yeah. children when moses walked God. back in the day so we're trying to bring that back and basically, yeah exactly <laughs> and you know we're trying to just not only spread uh good food and good health but awareness of who we are and awareness of what we came to do and you know be a light and uh you know, whatever comes from that comes from that, and whatever uh, business, I guess, prepositions and adventures that we sprout from there just comes. But, you know, we're not trying to force anything or anything like that. We're just going with the flow and riding the wave. Uh, okay, so I, I got a question. First, flowers to your mom. You know, Aqua Lauren, for sure. Hey, hey. hey love to oh. special. <laughs> you know, we got to take that. Yeah, we gotta take That's that breath kind, and kind, and kind, and sure. yeah, you can't just throw that. Yeah, like that we got flowers, you can't just come out flowers, like flowers, flowers, flowers. Y'all know hey. that's that's my. Hey, to our, to our ma. And yeah. so you Listen. got so you got Aqua Lauren and you got Aq Rohan. Right, right. So right. To the you got all this DNA, all this <laughs> musical, all this talent. Talk, talk on it. it. What's going on? <laughs> what were you at with it, Zion? What's good? Were you expecting you to drop something? What's up? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah right now, right. That's good. I, I do music myself, mm -hmm. but I've taken a break from music right now because I've been focusing on the food truck and I've been focusing on really just studying because I, because when I do music, I really want everything that I know to bleed into every like yeah. um, line that I have, you know. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to teach with the music. I want to be able to liberate with the music, mm -hmm. and you know, when I'm ready, I'll be ready. Cause I know when I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just slowly building up for that time. Okay. Because you know they're gonna, uh, they're gonna try to tear tear the thing down when it comes up. So mm -hmm. just gotta be ready that no matter how many times they tear it down, we still coming back up. And okay. you know, basically, you know, I'm just be, trying to be patient. And that's one of the things that I'm just learning more and more is just building patience and 
in every in every facet of life is just trying to build patience in every moment, understanding that every moment is a decision, and just taking that in and just breathing before you making a decision. You know, just yeah. breathing. Kind, kind. Yeah. So, is there a, a specific passage that your family, um, like, is there a family passage that you all resonate to, or? So, uh, my on my dad's side, they're, they're always in the Psalms. So, mm-hmm. all throughout the Psalms, you'll find my cousins and them. They're reciting the Psalms all the time. Mm-hmm. And on my mom's side, like you know, she loves Genesis or Better Sheets. So. Okay. She lives the beginning, hey. so you know. So, it, but for me personally, I, I'm a Psalms guy as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I find myself yeah, in Psalms yeah. a lot. Okay. And a my favorite Psalms, honestly, is the one that's by my bedside, and I think it's it's, it's Psalms 134. Let me, let me make sure. Let me just look back. Oh, so, Psalms, Psalms 102, 103. So Psalms 102, 103 is my mm-hmm. uh is my bedside bedtime Psalms. Okay. And it's two songs that I actually stumbled across by accident. So it's not like I searched for it. It's just something I stumbled across and mm-hmm. it just spoke to me because, Revealed it, so. it, you know, it's, it says my name a few times in it. And it's like a building up of the city of Zion, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just, you know, meditating with that. So, okay, so that leads us into Zion. Your name, you right. you know, your mom has put you in everybody's existence. So how does right. that feel? <laughs> how does that feel to be the song? <laughs> right. it, it, it's definitely a humbling experience because, you know, constantly you're hearing people giving uh, basically their birth experiences and they're, you know, they're giving credit to the song. And giving credit to me or my mother, mm-hmm. you know, I can't take any credit because it's the most high that does everything. Okay, so okay. it's just humbling because you just see how much power is in the most high. And when he wants to move some, he does some. That's and he'll use who he has to use to do what he has to do. And, you know, growing up, people used to always, people used to always tell me or, or say to me, like, you know what your name means? You know how powerful your name <laughs> is? And I'd always have to, like, really sit back and think. Dang, I really got this name. I gotta live up to my name, you know. <laughs> and name. that that kind of stuck with me, and it kind of molded my 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 path. Mm-hmm. And just you know, being hard on myself, sometimes too hard, but you know, just being hard on myself and just trying to you know do as best as I can in what I what I've been given, you know, and just you know taking it all in as I can, and just not letting it like you know blow up you know just trying to keep it calm and flow like uh-huh. like the witches uh-huh. i mean that's where we're at right now is it's, it's just finding our identities you know right right um, we're all separate locks going to the same head you know um there's an illusion of seclusion and and what we're how we get there is how we get there mm-hmm. this is what i realized back to how the wave is, is flowing is I've, I've backed off trying to convince anybody of anything. Mm-hmm. Like, I, don't, oh, yeah, I don't care exactly. what you think. Like, that's, you know, <laughs> Dodge your own uh, hijacks. For real, for real. <laughs> Dodge your own hijacks. Um, and, and naturally, it just feels like it's our song. You know, it, it's our music. Right. You know, it's our soundtrack. You know, however right. we make it in, in the food or we're talking uh, Sweet Miracles or we're talking MHOE. Hey, uh, MHOE check. Hey, MHOE check. Hey, check. Hey, Make sure we do it. Make sure we check. Zion, you know, make sure we get Zion's and make sure we check. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Make sure we check. Yeah. It's a, a prerequisite to be on the platform. You gotta <laughs> cry, cry, cry. do your right, right. Hey, Hob, and I want to get your uh, flow on the MHOE as we get ready to have my up in here as well. Um, but yeah, you know, just being right here and, and going through that with your family. And, and having your own dragonfly perspective from your mother, from your father, from your lineage to your research, like, have you just embraced the point now that, like, this is my wave? Like, you know, whatever I make with this is exactly what it is, you know what I mean? And, and this is who I am, and this is my identity, yeah, you know? Exactly. One thing I learned is that, you know, you gotta have many teachers in this life, and they could be somebody that's not even the teacher themselves, but you learn from what they've been through or what they've gone through. Yeah. And you just continue to take what you can take from whatever you got, you know? And I realized that 
if you want your best bet in this world, you gotta just pay attention. You gotta observe. And the root of even science itself is observation. So, you know, it comes with intelligence. And just, you know, sitting back and observing and just listening to the wind, not even listening to any noise, just listening to the silence, you know, and just, you know, gain that perspective on the world just from a, a place of just nothingness, you know, and just trying to see exactly what can come from that. It's just amazing. And, you know, I'm always thankful for the experience that life grants, right? And just the ability to even feel, you know, the ability to feel pain both and joy because you know it just every, every moment i just keep being reminded i'm alive you know and yeah. that's a great thing to be thankful for and a great thing to really just you know just sit back on and just meditate and yeah just perspective different perspectives in my family you know led me to think certain ways but you know at the end of the day is what I learned and the journey that I walked. So we just, you know, keep brandishing, you know, the spirit tip and just keep going forward because we got to keep ourselves ready. And, you know, a lot of things are changing in the world and a lot of things are starting to, you know, come about and we're starting to see so many things that we haven't seen before. And, you know, it's just about keeping a level head, you know. So you said, so you mentioned observation, you mentioned perspective, and you mentioned family. Right. You say to your family, the earth is flat, and what right. kind of reaction do you get? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because yeah, talk on it. You got to talk on it. I've little hints there for like three years, mm -hmm. and you know, most of them, you know, they brush me off, and they don't want to hear nothing else from me. But <laughs> like my, my family. After a while, they start to really see what I'm saying mm -hmm. because I realize that it's in the language, you know. Uh, Day in the word flat kind of throws people yeah. off kind, kind. because they think about a pancake. Yeah. So I, 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 kind, of, I kind of say like stationary, I say mm -hmm. fixed, mm -hmm. I say it's it's like foundational. I try to say those type of words and it kind of warms them up even more. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, most of them. They never really truly believed the globe Earth 100 percent either, mm -hmm. but when 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 the uh, the flat Earth stuff came off, it was a lot of uh, Cointel Pro with uh, it. Of course, of course. So it made it look really stupid to certain people, mm -hmm. and you know that's a battle in itself. So, mm -hmm. oh, God. That's, that's but they starting to see it though. They starting to see it. Okay, and, okay. You know, Shout out to the Mollies <laughs> and the Hills and all of y'all. That's what's up. <laughs> Hey, who's your favorite artist right now, man? Who you listening to the uh, vibe up to on a on a daily, man? My, my favorite artist right now, I, I guess I could uh, plug my brother then. Okay. Hey. My brother uh, YG Marley, he got a song going yeah, on yeah, crazy right YG. now. And it's, you know, came out of nowhere, so you know it's beautiful to see. Yeah, and, well, we gotta uh, get that. Okay. And other than my brother, I'd say uh, my favorite artist would be probably uh, uh, CJ. Hey. Oh, <laughs> this one, CJ Battle, CJ, CJ, yeah, right here. Hey, there was just one song that he dropped on Instagram. I don't know if it's on your YouTube or not, but I was like, yo, that's that's solid, bro. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. I definitely appreciate what you bring to the table in the music game, brother, because you got talent. Man. And shout oh, out to good. YG, man. My family been. That's been the theme song for the days. You got to praise John the Moonlight, man. Kind, kind. It's, it's going up, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, like hey, we got to link that, uh, Zion. We got to link that collab. Yeah, man. Bro, no, for sure. We're going to get that going. Gotta I got to get it going. I your song the other day, like probably like two weeks ago. So he know you, bro. Hey, that's oh, what's God. up. Let's get it. Let's go. Go. For the plug. All right. Yeah. Any, any final drop, man? We appreciate your time, man. Uh, share your final Hold drop. Down. Oh, so final the drop tribe. is uh, you know, I'll be back, man. I'll be back for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely up. get into uh, some press the John stuff. Let's go, you know, hey, yeah, let's go, ready. Ready. Hey. Map, map ready. Your, your granddaddy's hey. name is Nestor, hey, man. That's been yeah. my for like six years on my other account. So yes, sir. You know, we, we definitely get that going, and that has a lot to do with the lands and stuff. So okay, that'll be beautiful. So yeah, it's sure. exploration. All right, well, we look forward Top to up. having you again. The water for tapping into the Soul Bone yeah, Podcast. Oh, man. Oh. Wow.
Shalom. Hey, love. Much love to you all. Much ahab. Oh, wow, that. Like I said earlier, ahab gedal, ahab gedal. God. Yeah. <laughs> the great, I had to learn some Hebrew. He, he over here popping off. I said, man, what's that mean? <laughs> Look, I had to hit the, hit the, uh, hit the, uh, the uh, what is it? Like uh, the transcript. Uh, all, all different dialects, you know? The translation. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and keep, that, keep. That, oh, that's. That's one thing I want to say before I go. Yes, sir. Is that I've came to appreciate just the creativity of our people because we've turned one language into so many different dialects mm -hmm. based on where we're located mm -hmm. that it just shows that we've been the same way the whole time because even if you go different places in the land, you'll find different accents on the same language. Mm -hmm. So we always going to be like this and we can never fight over dialects. It's all one at the end of the day, and we just got to continue to be one, okay. you know? That one, one love. Uh, one love. One love. Definitely, y'all go love. check out that movie, One Love. <laughs> and again, congratulations to the family for being able to control the narrative of your family yeah. legacy. That's right. That's so big time. Congrats big on time. Congrats. Okay. And you tell them where to find you. Slip stuff in there, but this time, you know, we, we made sure they didn't. We had somebody on, on set all day. Word up. Huh. Word up. Dragons on the wall. Hey, I'm not, you gotta keep that <laughs> under the scope. Where can they find you, Zion, for anyone just making sure they want to keep up? Oh, you can the, find me on grades. Instagram. I'm at Zion D Marley on Instagram. Uh we building up a page for the uh for the food truck. It's coming soon. It's gonna be at Mana Macaba. So if you're looking for that, uh you'll find it and you know, may the most happy with you all, may peace be with you all. And, uh, and you know. As a brand ambassador to MHOE, -E. -E. <laughs> as our <laughs> only brand ambassador, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> just give us give us your meaning and in flow. We in it forever, man. We got the kids rocking the MHOE, -E, man. God, so, God. Like, we got Aqua Lauren rocking MHOE. -E. Hey, 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 talk about that moment, man. Yeah, that's yeah, that you moment. Out of here. We got the take moment, it. the hey, moment for the a, outro. Can I give a? Can I give a? Uh, I actually wanted to go into that real quick before I go. Please. So that moment was interesting because when I when I before I was able to go on stage, I actually got stopped by a security guard because he wasn't trying to let me backstage. So if the security guard had it his way, that moment never would have happened. Mm. But you know, it, it's always gonna be a fight before you do some good work in this world. So mm. it's just more confirmation that we did what we had to do and it spread the message. And you know, MHOE made his waves, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Da -wa -da, MHOE, most high over earth thing. Let's see. You had the vision and uh, you know, just being being behind this flow and A hop to MHOE Ma as well. We're about to have them on and um what's your vision, you know what I'm saying, behind how we're spreading this flow that rule number one is most high over everything. <laughs> hey man, that's the vision, that's the decision. And that's the origin, you yeah. know. <laughs> <Bars>. <laughs> oh. hey, that, that's all it is, man. Uh -oh. And we just gotta get back to the traditional way of doing things and yeah. the respect of doing things. And you know, we'll be good. And you know, these times are getting tough, but we'll be able to ever last if we just stay true. Uh, Da -da. Da -da. to the fam. Y'all yeah, be safe, be Looking easy. Looking forward to pulling up on the food truck, Martin yeah. Macaba. Yeah, yeah, love that title, oh, man. man. The vibration. Sure. I said, we coming the through in the, me and Brother Nature coming through in the <laughs> RV. Was waiting for that one. We we pulling up in the for RV. Sure. Pulling up on you, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we coming through. We're gonna give location alerts on the website. Just, there you just, go. We as pulling long as you up over on you. Yeah. Wave, you see hey, what the location hey, is. Hey, that's gonna be love for sure. Oh, for that's sure, for sure. We are gonna do big things because you know I'm planning on doing uh, a lot of food drives. Uh -huh. We do some food drives centered around the feast days and stuff. Uh -huh. We get people learning about the Come feast on. days through drives. Yeah, we'll be hook up with Sweet Miracles and we can get some message. 432, we about to pop off. We about yeah, to make yeah, it all yeah. a thing. Put it in swag frequency, Let's man. Let's go. 432. Sure. It's all happening. It's up. All right. All right. The water, my car. All right, babe. Thanks shalom, again for shalom, tuning in, babe. Shalom. 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 Bless you. Bless you. you will have to show me last
the last one, they fill in the gaps. Have a knock and secret, so we see through the trap. Let them keep to the coast, so we put down the strap. This track, rock hard, will Smith go slap. This track, rock hard, will Smith go slap. If Chris rock hard, he'll slap him back. Outrageous, contagious, like a vibration. Outrageous, like a citation. Outdated, but they still wait. Frustrated, but they still pace. Celebrated while they still hate. Elevating, like it's high ace. Fifth wave, while they still play. <laughs> Shalom, shalom. Hey, Welcome Connor back to the, to the Soul Zion, Bone man. Podcast. Let's go. Shout out to Zion Marley. Yeah, that was a beautiful Con, Con. one, two, one, two. Like you say, I, we don't even call it interviews. It's really where a con could be a con and have, have a, conversation. a conversation. We just had a Hello. conversation with the Con Zion. That was, that was amazing, man. Um, Con, Con. Can't wait to see the food truck flourish. And I mean, just the vibe he said, and you can see the passion behind the food and wanted to really heal the net nation you know through did y'all notice the indigo light behind them come on man hey. in the backdrop was yeah. also wavy yeah. 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 they're really gonna be away. bringing us some of that uh jamaican recipes yeah. up in, yeah. in the mix okay i see you guys and I, I still gotta see the film you know i didn't see it i didn't catch it yet but yeah. my children want to you know dig on I'm it's gonna definitely be a great tap in. a great experience i um i learned a lot I, you know i i wasn't even aware that um uh, Jimi Hendrix had a, a a good part in in the uh, Bob's uh, music. I I didn't realize that. Uh, and see, for me, when I hear that, I'm like, well, you know, Jimi Hendrix was a little Ritter, little Richard. So, but they're all. This is all around the time, the same time frame. So we got again the um, what's happening in America is the civil rights. Thing going on is the same thing that's popping off in Jamaica in their in their time frame mm -hmm. with the Bob Marley movement. But so yes, yeah, like they were making music and playing music over here with this person and this person and this person. But it's all part of the same historical time frame. Okay. So, but yeah, it's um, okay. it was um, it was exciting. Now I'm ready. I enjoyed it. Now I'm ready. Calm, calm. Ready to pop off. Uh, love to the blue zones. Uh, up to brother nature, man, over here. Hey. <laughs> on we the got spin people side. working in the back. I got some real, oh real kind of real time right here. I'm gonna have you autograph this because this is a, it's a good <laughs> handwriting. I don't know if y'all know, but nature There's got some script. good handwriting. They got man. some script going on. And this was, you know, he had to be like under pressure. He was writing this, and it still yeah, came out. Trying to get it while, still the, came while the subject's still hot. To... <laughs> nah, that's dope. But blue zones, people live over 100 years old in these blue zones. Come on. And yep. they have a little disease. There's Shout one out right Brother here Nature. in uh, SoCal. Brothernature.com. Yeah, Brothernature.com. So, uh, so apparently it has something to do with the, the soil? Is it the soil thing that they grow in their food in there? Or, just, or is it just, no, like, just how do you life, create a blue zone? Bro, you want to tell Please. us what happens with this? Just, just, <laughs> Come I, know on, I know you're chilling. I know you're chilling. Don't mind. Us. Come on, tell us what you know. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey, look, real quick answer to oh, you get Crystal James Jewelry. The, the real, shot the out. real quick. <laughs> real quick answer to blue zones is they are concentrations of areas where there is little disease. Uh, you have a high concentration of people living long, long lives, healthy lives, and a few of the things are they're eating in foods indigenous, typically to their to the area. Mm -hmm. So it may, it, all of the diets don't look the same. But when you eat local, when you eat the foods that are grown right there in your soil, in the, the, the richness of whatever grows naturally there, mm -hmm. and you incorporate friends, right? So the social circle. Energy. You incorporate um, uh, exercise. So a lot of people are walking. It's not ultra marathoners. It's people who get out the and walk. It's people who put their hands in the dirt. They may garden. They may uh, do some things regularly. Um, and then you've got, you, you don't have a lot of processed foods. I mean, that's a, the, the key of a lot of this is stop eating all the processed food and eat something that's natural. Mm, Pick the fruit off the tree. Don't just drink some orange juice. Go get an orange. So wait, so you're saying they live in to be over 100. So are would they be like the hippies back then, today? <laughs> they're, they're called centenarians. Centenarians. Anyone who lives over, uh, gets to over, over the age of 100. Mm -hmm. But a blue zone, there's several, several criteria. And there are, uh, one of them is like they have high concentrations of people who are living over 100. Right. You know, um, Okinawa was one. There were some regions in the Mediterranean. 
Thank you, mentioned. I'm not sure where, but there's somewhere here in the in Southern this California. Area. Do you know the re- Loma Linda? Loma Linda. That's where Oceano was born. Yeah. So, but the the thing oh, is, there's a there's you access. Say she was born in a there's access. Time. There's local foods. There's you know. So there's a there's a quality of life mm-hmm. that that is exacerbated by reduced. Can you spell that? No, I can't. <laughs> you can barely say it. <laughs> but but it, it it's it's highlighted by the fact that that these areas seem around the world seem to have some things in common. Not that everybody is doing the same thing, but they're doing the same types of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, so incorporate, you know, uh, regular exercise. Incorporate, you know, conversations. Go see your people. Mm-hmm. Meet your neighbors. Like get to know your your, your 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 family and go visit them and spend time. Like make time to be together. Um, and and also think about what you're putting in your body. Mm-hmm. Think about the foods that you're eating. Mm-hmm. You know, don't overeat. Moderation. But you know, there's a lot of them that do have heavy plant based diets. Now okay. there's uh, there's one uh, I want to. It's somewhere near Italy, uh, in the the southern tip. It's down the Mediterranean. They have a heavy diet of, of fish. But again, it's it's local. They catch it like this is not over processed something. So I'm, I'm what I'm saying is not it, is to eat what's local and natural. I guess is, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. In in but you can also it's been proven that uh, a a plant uh, uh, plant based diet can give you everything you need. Ah. No and matter will, where you are, it huh? will it will reduce your inflammation. It will sustain your life. It will prolong your life. It will get you off of the need for all these medications. Come, 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 come. So, hey, right, that's, that's, that's brother soul. nature. That's oh, brother oh, nature. Oh, we appreciate oh, you, oh, Hello, oh, mom, brother you, nature. Brother, 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 brother appreciate you, brother, brother, brother. 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 That's how we do. Oh, we got tag me. And who's the sponsor? We got. We need a sponsor for all this. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Sponsored by Crystal James Media. Hey, let's Crystal go, James Crystal Media. James. <laughs> Crystal yeah, James Media, Nature. Crystal James Pop Jewelry. Up, let's man. go. Shout out to Big Brother. You know, I, I just said it was a nice handwriting. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> On the up. spot <laughs> handwriting. Health Drop 101. God, God. All right, God, God. Uh, health Drop, we got these dragon. Yeah, let's oh, talk yeah, about the dragon. Health Drop, you know. Um, What's on the table? Well, these right <laughs> here are called Dragon Fruits. It's yeah. the Year of the Dragon. Uh-huh. Let's get a good look at these dragon Yeah, these come from a these come from a cactus, uh, a cactus that is, uh, yeah, it's it's like one of those fruits you'd be walking through the desert. Um, if you see one of these, it is safe to eat. Um, this is gonna be one of the most hydrating things, in my opinion. That so might they grow, grow in, the in the desert. Yeah, That's it's, it's a so- cactus. Ah, so a, cactus is fruit and not ve- like I will put cactus well, in this thing. is this is the fruit <laughs> of a cactus. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> so this grows off of one, and then uh, like if you eat one of these, you eat one of these whenever you uh, need a laxative or uh, are just feeling stuffed up, got some stomach stuff going on. They're uh, high in prebiotics, which is the vegan version of. A lot of probiotics, um, just because it's it just adds good minerals to your gut, Mm -hmm. helps you break food down, and helps line your stomach walls with good mucus and all types of good stuff. The year of the dragon, dragon fruit. We got meteors and dragons falling out the sky. (laughs) So look, so real quick, so uh, during. Our trip home, we wound up seeing a fallen star together, me and Chris. I had never seen one, but we actually saw this one at the same time. So then we get to start as meteors and dragons. Because I'm like, oh, it's just a dragon. He's like, a dragon? I'm like, meteors are dragons. So we, the other night, we wound up Googling meteors are dragons. And go ahead, what happened? With- when we were standing outside and we was trying to break his phone uh, oh, hey Siri with the yeah, phone yeah, we try to Siri, the, yeah, you talk about I don't know if she's listening right now oh, Siri yeah. Siri, yeah. Siri was in on the conversation like haywire <laughs> oh man she yeah. just started talking out of nowhere cause we like uh, no. well well we asked her 
what was the difference between a, a meteor or a meteorite oh, yeah, a and a meteorite meteor, and a meteoroid? And yeah, she, 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 that username. All right, we got uh, mine in the building. Five we could work on that while I um, talk about this presser real quick. I, no, no, no. I just want to. I want to put this uh, wherever. Hey, this is a beautiful map. This is a gift. Just walked in, blew my mind, <laughs> blew my mind bone. Uh, but yeah, we just you know, this is a Gleason map. Uh, well, yeah, what same says yeah, model service company, new work. New Jersey. Hey, shout out to Zion. Hey, yeah. God, I can't make God. this. I can't make this up. But nah, this is a beautiful flow. And there's a lot to discover in these coordinates, you know what I mean? But hey, we're going to talk about it, you know. World, just, just another let y'all know that, you know. Either way you go, man, you got to get through something. You, know? <laughs> you got to figure this out. I gotta, I'm not telling you where to go. How, how, how would the, uh, how would Australia flood on a but on a globe, like how does how would, it flood? How would it flood? Oh, uh, because it's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, like if on it's the on the ball. The ball. Oh, okay. man, I can't even. I can't even put balls in my head uh, at this point. Balls. <laughs> I just got circles. <laughs> I just got circles going on. Yeah, God, well, God, I, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I know what we got. I mean, but rationally, you got to start. Yeah. I know. Like, what? I'm ready to just start debating people on this. Do you hear yourself? Do you yeah. hear yourself? Yeah, what are we defending? No, just, like, why are we still kind, kind? I'm just waiting on the proof. No one's. Oh, still, wait. no one showed us. Speaking a, of, they a, just said they landed the on the moon, moon. they landed on the moon a they couple days ago after 52 years after they just 52. snuck to the moon apparently because it's like while we're doing super bowl <laughs> swifty celebration because wait when did Sports they take drama, off man. when did they take off for how long does it take to get to the moon they probably got it down in like one in a day <laughs> Probably a day trip. I don't know what map they use to get to the moon. Yeah, I mean. What the coordinates. coordinates. <laughs> what do y'all think about the Super Bowl situation? Uh, the sports drop. Uh, um, I saw something. I meant to drop it, but it's like sometimes repose is like, nah, I'm not even going to let you show it. But it was just talking about like with the red king and the white queen. And uh, how like this out, this. If you, if you look at red king, white, white queen. Mm -hmm. But then they kind of flipped the gender roles where it was a. Red queen king. and white king with mm. Usher wearing white and her wearing all red. Oh. And how the red king and white queen always got to have this love situation, you know what I mean? But mm. it, it always goes into some hijack of reasons, course. you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's all I know about it. Somebody left a yeah. long comment about it. Um, and then if you go on, like, um, what was the other one that uh, Rihanna last year? She had on the all red, but she had the, mm. the baby the baby. Thing, you know. Oh, something the baby big. had the white on and she it, had the red it, on. It was some type of always oh. marriage between this white and red. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's funny because that's the color of the Kansas City Chiefs. The and then, then it's the Chiefs. And then the Chiefs, you know. And then, a lot of, and then I'm out here saying who my dad playing? was a the Chief. 49. My dad yeah, was a Chief from too. Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, a lot going on. I don't know if it's the red. I just, y'all look up, you know, y'all do it. Drop Nation. Y'all leave a comment. Red King? Yeah, right. Red King. Or the white, white queen. Okay, white queen. All right. Yeah. So Which red, one? are we talking copper color, ruddy red, king? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what to do it. I mean, I'm just saying red, ruddy. Let's this is, get this it. Is job real time. And again, shout out to Little Richard and Candy Seabrook Seabrook Candy, Candy, the red Chiefs, Indian Chiefs in Kansas City. Let's mm -hmm. go. God, God, God. God. Shout out to the chief. Little Richard, man. Kind, you know? kind. Um, I, I just can't wait to see, you know, how all this legacy, kind. you know, continues to flow as it's flowing right now around this table, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Through Zion, through just this frequency of, of knowing again, just knowing, you know, who you are and what you're talking about, kind. you know, that your perspective matters and that it's been ignored all this and all these flows. Now we can look at the Super Bowl how we look at the Super Bowl, you know, we don't have to be fanatic about it but mm -hmm. we can you know have a dragonfly <coughs> perspective mm -hmm. you know it's like shining a light on things that just ain't been you know light's been hitting it you know 
Right. But you ain't seen it like this before. Right, because either people are don't <laughs> know to talk it. about it or they're right. scared to talk about a lot yeah. of stuff. And, you know, here at the Soul Bone Podcast, we talk about it all. Place to pull up and have for cons to have <laughs> a conversation. Let's go. For the cons. And we're going to have some special conversation for the Patreon cons. Take a moment and get an A out to the Patreon cons, oh, man. Oh, um, you know, I mean, all, all my people everywhere you are, you know what I mean? We all together, you know, and wherever we're going to do it at, you know, we're going to make sure we have these connecting points because uh, my IT Naga got to set up a Discord next, you know. And mm. I don't know how that works yet, but mm. he said it's going to really connect. Then we're going to get on the Telegram flow and connect that, you uh-huh. know, through all that. I'm, we, one more blitz. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. That's the speech. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's my, it. Hey, we go my through. Mickey moment, man. Well, that's like, this our, get our victory lap. Mickey loves you. <laughs> Mickey loves you. That's how I'm feeling, you know. Why loves you? Get up, man. And one more time, man. We're going to blitz it. That's why you see me going so hard on this Black Crease, this uh, Escapolis. I said one more time. One more, okay. Matter of fact, I don't even got to do it. Let me just let 2020 drop, dude. God, let's I'm tired. go back. Let's throw, I'm throw tired, back. Boss. I'm tired, boss. Tired of talking about the man. Let's go Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check it? this out. Oh, what we got? Y'all know I can't see. It wasn't even hard to find. Red King, White Queen. Super the Red bold. King and White Queen are alchemical allegories. Shout out to Templar, the alchemical opposites. Let's Templar go. Templar take the wheel. <laughs> and their union represents the process of uniting opposites to create a greater, fully unified product of that union. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make this I'm up. Out of here, bro. Can't make it up. I'm, I'm telling here, y'all, bro. my dad was the, the chief in Kansas City. <laughs> God, God. Mm-hmm. The coming together the opposite since they brought up alchemy. I didn't even do it. They, they did it. I'm just, you know. Hey, can't make it That up. is the Connie and Shield. That is the Dragon Slayer. Mm-hmm. That is the Dragon Slayer. That is no it. matter how you bring it together, black, white, black, white, checkerboard, bloods, Chris, Republican, Democrat, boo, boo. They got to create opposites to uh-huh. slay the dragon. Mm-hmm. Or to get you eating your eating own tail. tail. That's it. And now you a, a snake or a dragon devouring yourself. And a yourself. loop. Now you loopy. Now you devouring yourself. And that's, that's yeah. But this is the alchemic, the alchemical king and queen in the Super Bowl. Seen to be being represented. And that's why they got a uh, white usher get all lovey dovey with your girl, mm. Swizzy. You know, oh, everybody really? on Swizzy on it. You know, Swizzy feel. How Swizzy feel? Kind, kind. But Swizzy. that's not the point. Swizzy said that, that show biz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. it's all on our face, bone, man. Um, but yeah, the coming together of opposites mm. is alchemically how they slay the dragon, and they call it the Cadmus, C A D M U S, which is representing this alchemical process of the coming together of opposites. opposites and it right. happens through the alchemical serpent. You know mm. what I'm saying? Which is not the alchemical dragon, which let us know that the serpent ain't the dragon. That's right, that kind. There's an alchemical two serpent and an alchemical dragon. Kind, the serpent is two different things. Miss D. One is giving life, thing. one kills everything. Yeah, it just Ms. reminds D. me of uh, the show. Miss D. And the cop the Flash. You guys seen the Flash live action, um, or even reading the comic? But basically, the laboratory that explodes and gives everybody their abilities is called Cadmus Kaz- Labs. Mm-hmm. And they created the first particle acceler- collision, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. It's probably in a yep, negative yep. zone when they mm-hmm. did it. Mm-hmm. And it was just called Cadmus Lab. I'm like, dang. You just, so you just, now I know why. It's called Cadmus? Yeah. It's called oh, Cadmus. that's crazy. So, yeah, when you said, and we used to start, you know, sports drive led us here, man. Sports drive. Hey, the sport, <laughs> y'all know the sports is how they, how they keep man. us entertained. And that's um, exactly what we're going to read about with this Black Christ of Escapulos, Escapulos, where they're merging, they're they're syncretizing the indigenous struggle with an image. And it's the coming together of opposites (laughs) because it's just representing your suffering and you were invaded. So those are the coming together of opposites. you're worshiping it. When they come opposite of your frequency, that's called invasion. It's called invasion. Call it what it is and then we can That's why I said... I can't imagine, you know, getting slapped in the head and you, you, you get into some type of three-month sleep and you wake up and not immediately want to know who slapped me in the head. What the hell happened? I said, what kind of, what kind of naga? Don't go naga a little bit and be like, who, who slept me? They stayed in over you slept. talking about you just got naga. <coughs> oh. You know what I mean? So that's what we are. We're just waking up like, you know, becoming aware, as we say, awareness. We're, we're the awareness community. We're not, not the conscious, conscious community. We're the awareness community. Nah. We're just developing a perspective to invest. I'm a 
keep going, never slowing off for real. I'ma keep flowing, never stopping off for real. They want my energy, then I be what I'm for real. They want a nigga like me, the American dream, but I'm for real. Your accolades don't mean nothing to me, but it's just how I feel. It's for behind closed door that make me numb and I don't feel. Also, everybody, so they so just fell with deal. That's sad, I roll it back to back, and that's just how I deal. I don't care if it's red or blue, I just don't need no pill. Looking down this iceberg, no fear, but it give me chill. Supposed to be getting my land back, but they told me stop hand bill. Roll it back to back, she told you this, that's how I feel. I'ma keep going, never slowing off for real. I'ma keep flowing, never stopping off for real. They want my energy to not be what I'm for real. They want a nigga like me, the American dream, but I'm for real. Back to back, like you can't sneak up on me, y'all for real. Back to back, like I can see 360 down the field. Back to back, like watch my back and tell me what is real. Killing track, back to back, like most I take the wheel. Cause falling fast, got in the mind and get you ill. Safe shifting, but in the mind, ain't the same for real. Hey, Ma, what kind of shirt you wearing, man? Is that, is that the new MHOE? Yeah, uh-oh. What kind of shirt you wearing? Is, is, is oh, that? Oh, it's a throwback shirt. It's a throwback shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a throwback shirt. I mean, Zion throwback. just had to do his yeah. MHOE check. <laughs> okay, okay. No, so, MHOE, hey, as long as it's incorporated. It's repping, you repping. It's as it's long repping. as it's yeah. incorporated, because we about to have some furniture <laughs> moving over here. God, this whole God. desk going to start earthquaking if Ma had an MHOE on. Hey. <laughs> Shalom, Shalom, Ma. And I got the nine on, you know what I'm saying? All right. We ready, we ready. Hey, all right, we're going to break my in, man. Hey, top of the soul, Top man. of the soul, uh, We back, we back. Shalom, we got five eyes in, in the in. building. Let's go with it. I'm in my spiral. M-H-O-E dot clothing. Man, this is Ma. This is a master hey, of the ether right here. Shalom. This is a tribal, to the <laughs> tribal mafia, the tribal music in ambassador. Building. MHOE owner, soul bone owner, con, owns con. everything. Hey, he all uh, over. <laughs> owns the earth plane he wants on. on. Uh, we appreciate you, man. And, and, and this is you, obviously. You know what I'm saying? We're bringing you in um, on this green screen for the first time. But obviously, man, you've been there from the very beginning, man. Con, and con, we appreciate con, every con. bit of your ether con, that you bring in, dropping no matter what, man. Hey, hi. Hey, Shalom. Bye, bye, bye. MHOE, bye. Flowers, all that. All that. I started tearing up. I started tearing up thinking about all them. All them trips, <laughs> hey. all them journeys, you know, to put some hands on the land and, yeah. and just hey, spot got, got something coming yeah. up. We need to get back out there, though. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How you really, Ma? Open and drop, man. You know how this, how we flow, man. You know what I'm saying? What's I'm on your flow today, bro? I'm feeling, I'm feeling chill. I'm relaxed. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, letting the hijack. Catch an elbow, uh, uh, catch uh, a spade in the face, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ain't playing no games, yeah. got my frequency up, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm on my tribe, tribe, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I'm on nine, you feel me? Uh, I'm met, you know? Yeah, man, you always been in the nine flow, the nine wave, man. I'm just catching up to some of the latest music you've been dropping. We actually dropped... Uh, during one of our intermissions, man, was the back to back? Yeah, the back to back goes. The hard. back to back goes uh, uberly yeah. hard, man. You know, 
Bring it saying all this flow. Yeah, it's it's going me. crazy it's right now. You, you being real humble, <laughs> man, but kind, kind. it's going crazy right <laughs> now, bro. You know what I mean? Like, Aki, please just let us know how you really like, you know, how's this getting, you know what I'm saying, uh, transferred into the music, man. Your your life is getting put right there for everybody to, to float to. Man, uh, the, the thing is, you know what I'm saying, like, I always have music in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I express myself, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I don't know how everyone else is, if they if they going through a hard time, I don't know. Like, me, if I'm going through a hard time and stuff, and I make it through, it make me strong. And, and, you know what I'm saying, it's going to make me vibe even, even harder, you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might not even be me going through a situation and stuff. It might be, you know, the aqua, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Just like, I'm just, you know, I just I just feel that, that waves through the ether, you know what I'm saying? And it just made me, you know, push that out. I'll, I'll praise the most high, you know what I'm saying? I can, wow. Oh, oh, wow. I get that, that expression now in music, you know what I'm saying? Through that vibration, you know what I'm saying? And so a release, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's, it's therapy, you know, it's, it's, it's there for like like it's a tool, you know what I'm saying, to use, you know what I'm saying? So this world this world don't use me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so that's so for, But yeah, yeah, that's how that's how I flow, you know. Gotta keep it flowing. Nice. So okay, what inspires you? So you be in the booth all like what you be like, let me hop in the booth or do you just stay in the booth? My living because he be man. turning them out. What's good? Yo, he owned the booth. Oh, you know what I'm saying? If I, you know, like man, I was telling my engineer the other day when I seen him, I was like, man, if I had my own studio, like, like at the house, and I knew how to work it and everything, oh, like man. just to, you know, play with it before I go in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Because cool. the studio, I'm always gonna go to the studio. Yeah. If I know Let's how to get you myself. set up. I just like set them up. That's just the, the, I, that's I like, I like working with engineer. I like working with somebody. Right. You know, I just like. But you get it started. You, you know what I'm saying? It started. Yeah, like, happened, you know, man. And then you bring them. Bring them. It was TJ. I'm saying it's just like the harmony of it. You know what I'm saying? And just like, like even that beat from uh, uh, back to back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I actually got that from a producer that hit me up the email that uh, cause oh. I bought one of his beats from someone else. Mm. <laughs> That was showing it. Uh, that the was the, the love frequency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he yeah. took me up. He was like, "Hey, I want to know what you do with that beat." And he, he heard that song. And he was like, "Oh man!" He was like, "Here's my catalog. You can pick whatever beat wow. you want." And I was like, "Oh snap!" I was like, "For real?" Yeah. I'm opening them. I got a beat for free. <laughs> that was that beat. Hey, that back, <laughs> yeah. back beat was like, hard. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy, like, bro. It, it was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I'll praise the Most High. You know what I'm saying? That was just. Wow. That time, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even expecting to write, you know what I'm saying? And then that happened, it's just like that that energy that I got from that person passed yeah. to me, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, yo, like, all that excitement, picking the beat, hearing that beat, hearing the flow, and just catching a, a melody, you know what I'm saying? And just, it was just magic. It was just y'all pie. It was just. Uh. I'm still waiting for you to hop on that grandpa's lane. Here we go. What's up? I need, I need that one. Cause not that one. <laughs> yeah, I'll be forgetting. Yo, I got to hop on. We got on some soil. You should just do it. You should just do it. We got, got some like artifacts to find. I got to do. Like, man, it just, it just be so random and stuff. Like, <laughs> matter of fact, like, this was a song, like, skipped up in the line and stuff. Like, <laughs> it was just like, and, and I thought, like, more, more people's gonna be on there and everything like and I'm yeah, saying, ain't nobody did yeah, nothing it's, yeah, it's supposed it's to grow home. but somebody it's gotta get on it like, I my options and I like, <laughs> <laughs> they say I gotta watch what I put my it's name right, on you know, I you see know. you I feel you and then, and then I heard first first I heard just Dizzle part and I was like yeah nah Wait, I'm, I'm gonna write my stuff about. and then and then and then I heard uh Con Drop I was like like, so, what song like, you talking about, Mom? This one, Grandpa, you talking about a different song. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about a different song, man. <laughs> I'm not on that way, yet. He was like, you know what I'm saying? 
he gave me uh, the <laughs> idea to make this track. You know what I'm saying? I actually hit my uh, other homeboy as a producer. You know what I'm saying? He gave <laughs> us a beat. It's all right. It's I all right. wrote to it. We'll do another. He wrote to it. He got to it. And I skipped him. I was like, oh, man, I got to tell him. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't even like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even like that. It was just like, it was just the energy. And then, like, I be, I be like so much in this song. <laughs> so Ty, don't feel bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like other people. Don't feel bad. Oh, oh my god, it's hilarious. Like, it's, Good thing we got c- uh, producer control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I, got, I got, I got, I got a question. I got a question for you. you How many? <laughs> How many tracks do you knock out in one studio session? There we go. Uh. <coughs> Like, well, the most I think I did maybe three or four. You know what I'm saying? I usually do two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I usually do two. I like doing two because yeah, like two, one, two, two I, I, I do it too fast. You know what I'm saying? I'll be done yeah. and, and like I still got time left. My engineer be like, "I like, ain't got nothing else." Like, <laughs> like you know, you got, not oh, like that, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, you, you, you know you do stuff fast. Hey, well, like all right, I got an hour. Man, they I can tell do a song like 30 juice. minutes. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I usually get two hours, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to knock out two songs, two hours. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I, I can go to the studio every day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <That's really laughs> CJ say he get you set up with that studio at yeah, the house. Yeah, that would be um, a dope thing to even like um, document, you know, putting together, you know, mm, how God. Ma puts together his studio from from yeah. the from the ground up. Man, we got to document that, Ma. Oh man, that'd be like a little little <laughs> series. Yeah, for yeah. real. Because <laughs> everybody want to know how to really, you know, what I'm saying, because the tribe need to know how to communicate quickly. Like you're saying, like not wait to go to a studio, not have to have this budget <laughs> to do this, man. If we could just kind of get them. <laughs> those tips okay, you know okay. and see you do it see you know how the correspondence works man these these are things we could really document man and, mm-hmm. and put out there for the time but it's like kyle when i not like engineers cause i know cj know this but like engineers like their job is so important you know what i'm saying just for like just for sound and and, and like when you're there by yourself you might not hear something that you did or like you you're saying wrong or like you're not hitting the beat right or something like that like sometimes mm-hmm. internet would tell you you know what i'm saying so that's another good thing going to the yeah, studio nothing like the actual yeah, the, yeah, the situation feedback for sure time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah but you know what i'm saying if you like cj you know what i'm saying yeah he do it i got a question mom you know how i use it and everything so you ain't got to worry about nothing you know what i'm saying like, that's the thing that's the thing. We need classes on how to, you know, be in the studio. You know what I'm saying? So mm. how to work computer. Cause I look at that, that thing. That's yeah, like, yeah. It's like looking at them, like this one and zeros. Like I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Calm, calm. Oh, I got a question for you. What's the, up? the new release of the last Airbender. Did you check it out? You, you, you Airbending was good. Yo, you series. know what's funny? It's a series. Like, look, look, I, I look what's it. on my screen right now. I don't know if you can see it. But it was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's on. I just watched that was the air yesterday. Right right it's crazy. Like, you watching it right now? <laughs> look, the it was, look, so. look, it was funny because like, because <laughs> like my uh, I was actually because like me and my dad, you know, what I'm saying we watch everything together. You know, what I'm saying that's like mm-hmm. you know. If he off, I'm off, we're gonna go chill and watch something, you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. chill. But like he was like, Oh man, we got nothing else to watch and stuff. But he was like, Man, it's this new thing, uh the last uh avatar, right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was like, Man, I I think I think I heard about it, you know what I'm saying? Then mm-hmm. I was looking because I, I know about the cartoon, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, I don't have live TV, you know what I'm saying? I'll be watching the fire stick, so I like I was like, what? I think I know you're talking about. And I seen it. I was like, oh, nah. I was like, I'm going to have to watch this by myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I ain't got nothing to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got nothing to watch. The crib, like, just like, just the, you know what I'm saying? When you watch your mind, just to like, 
now you don't really learn nothing that much, you know what I'm saying? Maybe just catch a little glimpse of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to need I'm gonna need me some Avatar, you know so what I'm saying? So, so now that you say that, when I was watching, I was like, man, <clears throat> we must be the last ether benders. They got the air benders, the fire benders, uh -oh. the water yeah. benders. We must be the ether benders. What you think about that? Uh, Tartaria. <laughs> okay, Tartaria. What you know about Tartaria? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, like they fireplaces was a fireplace. Like, kind of, kind of. Like, start there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they use they they ether. You know what I'm saying? To charge mm -hmm. up their home, like the whole yeah. home that had the ether within it. Coming back. They even had eat in their house. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the yeah. wires and all of that stuff. Oh, it charge up in the house. That's just crazy. That's Free just wild. energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just like so much we don't know about the ether. And then that's what Nashville be talking about. Like, okay. you don't need Coming no ether wire. We're going to play ether. his video. You know what I'm saying? Video. We're going to play it. Con, shout out to Nat. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ma. What you say? Uh, I was popping off on that. <laughs> but yeah, but like the ether is like so interested you know what i'm saying because if you get like a like what was it like a 33 foot uh plastic uh pyramid up just put it in your yard or whatever it would draw the ether right and um you can put medicine in there it'll make medicine stronger you know what i'm saying it'll make like like i believe the uh the scientists that did this was like russian and over there in russia um it was like plants and stuff that was like extinct, whatever, that just came back out of nowhere from no yeah. seeds. <laughs> it was just because of this pyramid they put up. And I was drawing the ether, so it's just like everything in the ether, you know what I'm saying? So, I did notice <laughs> the the medallion that the dude was, the, the, the medallion, remember the, his uh, friend that got burnt up and on the medallion and had the spirals yeah, on there? I was does. like, man, I said, that's that Oregon uh float the the you know you know what i'm talking about with the spirals ma uh, the spiral like the medallion that that the dude was circle. wearing mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like i said hey that's that that's what that looked like to be that organ energy yeah i mean ma's been uniting you know <clears throat> just just bringing all these elements and huh. all all the music mhoe all this is my hey. all this is designed it's by all the elements created by you know, huh, thought huh. by, um, <laughs> you, got you your know, just, just bring us into the MHOE Zion just finished, you know, giving a great, <clears throat> man, just, just, just a truly huh, uh, beautiful, man, Zion. just, you know, flow of how important it is, man, just to push continuously the message of most high over everything, you know, um, if we start right there, man, we can break through a lot of barriers, you know what I'm saying, bring a lot of unity together, no matter where you're from, that we can agree on this code, and you're bringing it out through fashion, through creativity and all these ways, <laughs> music, man. And pop off, man. MHOE, man, how did it flow through you, brother? You know what I'm saying? And, and get to this point. How did we get here? How did we get here? Hey. <laughs> man, like, from the beginning, beginning, like, hey, I remember I remember saying in the group chat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a long time ago, uh, what was it, like, Man, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago what when is I was time? in the chat. What is you know time? Time? And, uh, <laughs> and I was just saying, MHOE, I like most of everything, you know what I'm saying? I remember yeah. saying that and everything, and I was just like, I was just thinking about it for a minute, and I was like, <laughs> I'll be open, put on some clothes, like every, most high over everything, like on every everything you wear, <laughs> yeah. and most high is over everything and it's just right. like yo that is just like that's that's dope to me i don't know i just like i don't know that really stuck in my head and then i just like kept that in my head for a minute and stuff like that and then i just i don't know i i know drop he be dropping his uh his shop and stuff you know what i'm saying his clothes and everything and i was just like man i was like thinking about that and i was like and we could put it out and 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 these brands, I started thinking about these brands, like everything just started just correlating, uh, just like uh, connecting. It's just like these brands. I was like, what does these brands even mean? Like, I was like, I remember learning about Nike and it was like a Greek goddess of war and all that. And I was like, and I stopped wearing Nike like in, in high school. 
And I was just like, yeah. Yo, what about these other brands? Like, what are they even representing? Like, and yeah. when they even, like, kind of start, and I was just like, and I started thinking about our tribe and stuff, and like, I was like, yeah, tribes and stuff. And then we said, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just like all started correlating. And I was like, yo, like, my tribe is with the most high. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my brand. Like, that's why who I'm going to brand me is the most high. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody else brand on me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know what it's representing. You know what I'm saying? That's just like right under your nose, like Nike. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so M H O E. It's a flow. It's an existence. It's a it's a frequency. And I know a big part of it is dealing with um, the materials that that you actually use to make your product. I ran across something recently on Instagram that was talking about linen, <clears throat> Salakia, and how linen, back in the days, like in the um, during the wars and stuff, the hospitals used to use linen sheets because of the healing properties of linen itself. So, have, um, what what is your I, thoughts on you know what pure pure material looks like when you talk? the vibration and frequency of the MHOE well, brand. Well, yeah, like, I remember I was talking to Drop. Like, wow, I was, I was like, Drop, I was like, man, like, I was, like, looking at all these clothes and stuff, what we can do and stuff, and it's like, I've been seeing about this synthetic stuff, like, it's uh-huh. everywhere, and then learning about fast fashion and stuff, like, and they're just, like, they're killing their environment, you know what I'm saying? I saw it was really, like, getting on on game about like how the environment is getting affected by all these clothes we got like a clothes pandemic and they're just throwing away clothes and stuff because of these trends and stuff you know what i'm saying and i was just like i don't even want to be a part of that you know what i'm saying it's just like and then i found out so much i can't i can't do it even because of that you know what i'm saying like because so much stuff is like just not real and it's not good for um, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I came with that, like, just in my head and stuff. And then Drop came with, oh, you know what I'm saying? He dropped that drop about the frequency of uh, the clothing, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And um, how, like, like the synthetic clothing, like, it just, yeah, it, it killed the frequency. Yeah, yeah it dropped right. the frequency all yeah, the way down, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so you're, flow. Not, you're not charging up like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's just like, yeah, like, we got to have that, that real, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really want to look at him, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the him, play. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's the play, for real, for real. They got this new, uh, <clears throat> this new leather out, made it out of banana. <laughs> banana leather. Let's check it out. Banana hey. peels, man. It's from the, it's from the tree stalk. Banana pills, man. Wow. It's really cool. It looks like quality Straight and everything, but I'll just look into it. Banana leather. Yeah, like, what's that smell? <laughs> what I got a question about, okay, so Don't we had it. we had scratch Zion on here yeah, earlier and talking about um, the family interaction and and the message and the flow that, that you have. How does your family interact with the most high over everything, frequency and brand? Do they support it or how, how does that play in your family? What you mean, like the brand is or just yeah? Does, like, does your family wear your wear the? If we do a check in your family, are they oh, gonna be? <laughs> well, I, I would say yeah, like or like, not like like I wouldn't say like my like my mother, and father, or like my brothers so much, but like like say like my cousin or my uncles and stuff like that. They more about it, you know what I'm saying, or like more supportive and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like my, <laughs> I, never mind, I shouldn't say no. <laughs> no I, I just feel like, well, I, I'm just going to say it like that. I just feel like they they, they want it like free stuff. Like, they just expect it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, not in a bad way, but right, just right, like, right. you know, they just like, oh, like, Where's that hoodie? Like, I, I want me a hoodie, you know what I'm saying? I like, rock that, I want to rock that drop. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, no, I can't get no food truck. Like, <laughs> Here's the website. They ain't going to be like, they make sure we don't close. But, um, yeah, but they, they support it, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially my dad, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Especially, like, <clears throat> what helping me, like, uh, with money wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we need, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like with the um, trademark and all that, you know. Okay. So that that was, you know, what I'm saying, being helpful, you know, what I'm saying, like, so. Praise my God, like, for my father being there, you know, what I'm saying, being there. Yeah. So yeah, like. Yeah, they did. So, is there any uh-huh. other people in your family that are musically inclined, or is it a you thing? How how far does that stretch in your family? I mean, my brother. I I, I started rapping because my brother. Like, I want to say because of my brother, I, I love music. But like, my brother, he taught me how like to to write bars, like and what what a bar was in line, like mm-hmm. two line make a bar and all that, and like like about like. What I should, how I should write those bars, you know what I'm saying? How they should correlate, and um, and how like, like they should say, talk about like the same thing, like the same subject, mm-hmm. but in a different way. And like he just like was breaking it down like that, like yeah. to make me really understand. So that helped my my writing in in music because I I was good in poetry. I always was like writing in poetry and stuff like that mm-hmm. and everything. And so. But uh, like yeah, and just other people in my my family like like because it's of course because the church like people sing and stuff like that and like with beautiful voices you know what I'm saying and uh, people like that play the guitar and stuff like that like you know what I'm saying the church and stuff like that that's really like <clears throat> where I fell in love with music you know what I'm saying and then um mm. and my aunt my mom's twin. Uh, matter of fact, like was that in Scarface? Like it helped, <clears throat> it helped write uh, my playing tricks on me and stuff like that. Oh, that's what's up. Hey, that's what we talk about legacy and legend, yeah. legend yeah. and all of this yeah. stuff. Kind yeah, no, like she got it. definitely. And her son, he be just freestyling crazy. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah. A freestyle fanatic, like he he'll, he'll go in the studio. Like my brother, my brother actually got a little studio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like, yeah, he he'll, he'll go like my brother over there, my brother, and make like five songs, like without without stopping, like just freestyle yeah. the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and the next week will come, he just be freestyle. It's just funny, That's but yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't heard you freestyle. Yeah, we heard, we heard my freestyle. Oh, uh, I think we freestyle. We freestyle yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah, land before yeah. my. In the, in the I freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you I'm freestyle a freestyle. Anyway. Okay, hit us with a couple bars. What you got? What, <laughs> you on the spot. What's good? Hit us with the drop. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Let's see. 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 let us see that's what's up. Right. Only awesome. But definitely, we always appreciate you tapping in. M-H-O-E, my five eyes. We appreciate you. You got anything yeah. you want to close out with? You got anything you want to put on the people? Uh, nah, just uh, most of our everything, you know. Uh, you know, spiral. They don't know. Huh. Where to find you? you got where, where we gonna find you? What you got something coming out? We looking forward to the something from you. What's good with it? Or drop? I, I gotta I gotta drop that back to back. Hey, Sapery, we doing that? No you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna we gonna get that up. We got man, yeah, it's popping up. What's up? Yeah, What's it's just popping up. Yeah, we gonna he gonna pop it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got I got music. I need to. I just need to record. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I might write when I get off the phone right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a flow. It's a flow. And some new, new designs dropping for MHOE. You got something out off the press. You about to, I mean, like, what goes in, like, when you uh, kind of settle on, on the design? I know you got some press to flow you was working on. 
Uh, I know the tribe's ready for it. The tribe is ready for it. Like, even brought out, like, show anyone. So, yeah, like, yeah. Eyes and stuff like that. It's, uh, I'm not in no rush and stuff. It's yeah, like, y'all ain't in a rush, like, get rich or nothing like that. It's, it's, it's more the message and stuff like mm. that, or like, right. and I'm not rush to like have people like running for clothes and stuff like that, cause like that's what I'm saying. It's more about the brand more than the clothing, if that makes sense. Mm. It's more about I love that. hearing the most how everything, you know what I'm saying? That's the like, message. Then oh, what are you wearing? I like what you're wearing, like that. But it's gonna get to that point. <laughs> it's gonna get to a point where you're like, oh yeah, what you wearing? Oh yeah, most yeah, high everything, yeah, yeah. and that's sticking your head. Subliminal bang. It's not as important as getting the message as this is the brand and this is what the brand stands for and this is what we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our tribe. You know what I'm saying? We stand for Most High. You know what I'm saying? And not for none of that other stuff that. Like yeah. Balenciaga or whatever you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, none of our people are going to do any kind of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's not our flow. That's not our vibration. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Da -wa -da. Da -wa -da. Hey, da -wa -da. man. We appreciate Top you, of the and you're going to do a regular check in, man. We're going to have the mod corner, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> every time every month we check in just like this at yeah. least man you know what uh, I mean? hey mommy what you know what i'm saying so that's the what corner yeah <laughs> <laughs> the what corner. anyone can be in the what corner you yeah know what, I'm what corner what corner you in <laughs> yes, we'll how many names you got right now ma you said what how many <laughs> artist names do you got right now which one are you going to uh enter the year of the dragon who are you with? today <laughs> who are you going to be or does it? Oh, is it everything? Is it all happening? <laughs> man, it might be M H O V five eyes. Hey, in the <laughs> building. Yeah, 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 the M H O V flow is flowing, man. People start. <laughs> you see how fast, is, <laughs> how fast is uh, wave flow, man? It's crazy. You know, you gonna start seeing everybody with M H O V Jesse. You know hey, yeah. Joey Pete. Let's go. We <laughs> see that. Yeah. Joey Conrad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got it's spreading. It's spreading mighty fast, man. But you know, wave surfers, you. tribal mafia, tribal, uh, tribal music ambassador, my man, my jig five eyes. Now we appreciate you, man. I want that for tapping in. And yeah, let's keep the keep the water flowing, bro. You said what now? We gonna keep the water flowing, and they can find you again oh. on uh, on YouTube. At Five Eyes Ma? Yeah, for sure. Out the playlist. Yeah, Five Eyes Ma. Those playlists are. Hey, talk about the producer Talking playlist major. right quick, man. I know you put a lot of time into making sure all the producers are connected, man. And eventually we're going to have a whole network of producers just, you know, trying to get in the flow of the tribe of music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Being that frequency. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to get these producers to yeah, get in the yeah, frequency. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Frequency. 432 hertz. You know what I'm saying? All y'all beats in 432 hertz. Mm -hmm. yeah. Start that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Okay. Yeah, we did it. God. Hey, hi. We up. Hey. We all the way up, man. Shalawan. You know, Shalawan, Kai. Uh, Habatha. We appreciate you. Stay safe out there, man. Right, Top right. of the show. Shalawan. Shalawan, big dog.
connection with me We got what Chef Condi in the building. Back. Let's go. I'm back. Oh, and I'm ready. Hey, MHL E check. We got the check. We got the check. <laughs> you hollering the check in the head. Hey. We got coming and going. We got it coming and going. Yeah, Con, we do. I'm good. I'm doing good. Looking good, feeling good. I feeling see you good. good. Okay. Flowing good in the right. frequency of just greatness. You so know what I mean? Again, you looking good. What you doing, girl? What's going on? Talk to me. What you eat? Veggies. Nice. And honeydew. Mm. Honey, dude, that's and is that the melon? More honey, <laughs> more honey mm. too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, just more fruits and veggies, and implementing that, and plant based. you know, being consistent. Yeah, huh. being a, consistent a with a regular, regular workout routine, which is so important. Yes, um, indeed. And when you, you know, I wake up real early in the morning. <laughs> because if I don't, then I'm just not gonna have time to do it. And mm. so I said to myself, you know what? I just got to get it done. Whatever get it takes it. to get it done, and um, it's been working. So and it's definitely it takes. You look beautiful. I'm I appreciate you. you. Yes, yeah, man. Exactly. Yeah. Con, exactly. con, we popping off. Yeah. Just right quick, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Planet Health. Con. R- 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 RKJ. Yep. My yeah. Monarch RKJ. Hey, the monarchy in right. the Took building. Over, yeah, man. Yeah, talk on that right quick. Oh, facts. Yeah. If you're from uh, Southern California, you know, Planet Health and Compton is a very integral part of the community and was a light, a lighthouse for a lot of people in the area who may not have known about healthy eating. Uh, the late owner, Roland, left a nice little blueprint for people to go in and still get a great experience and soak in the culture and RKJ uh, <clears throat> was good friends with him before he passed and was able to um, make sure to keep that torch burning, you know, oh for God. a community that, you know, he, he wasn't even aware of all the people Roland impacted or touched, you know, he's just, he just knows that um, it's one of those things that is, uh, it's more of a divine placement you know the divine responsibility of just like he had to step up and he's really one of the only people who could probably do what he's doing right now without you know stressing out or losing his mind because he jumped into a circus you know what i'm saying with so many moving parts so many people yeah. a lot of a lot of different in the middle of a place that the world might look at as like you know uh, yeah, you know, it, it, but it's, it, Compton is very beautiful. I've never had any problems while I'm there. Shout Same way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out, they show, they show us love every time we're over there. The food is great. Um, you know, I, I've heard more cars getting broken into in downtown and, you know, in other places, West Hollywood. So, it is mm-hmm. might as well just... That, that's where the, the culture's at. That's where the people's at. It's a sense of community over there. They're taking care of each other. And, uh, yeah, go support. Come on, uh, come on. Well, Chef Candy going to connect, you know what I'm saying, to Planet Health as well. Maybe we're going to merge off this. Come on. Yes. Take the wheel, Chef Candy. Let go. All right. So for what, this what, week's recipe, um, I made, which is, technically it's called split pea soup, but in Trinidad we call it dal. We say dal soup. You making dal? Okay. Every Sunday you make dal, and it's really easy to make. Typically, there's only like four ingredients in it, but of course, you know, I gotta do a little bit extra because I like my food super seasoned. So, um, (laughs) but yeah, you could eat it with rice and you spoon the dal over it, and then you put some um, bhaji, which is like a sauteed type of spinach. Um, It's called dashi and bush, actually. And that's a typical meal that you would serve it with. So, um, but you can also make dal soup itself, and you, you know, you make your own dumplings and 
toss it, toss them in there mm-hmm. and um, let it cook up. Um, and it will thicken up a lot because you got it's a flour based dumpling, so um, you want to add more water to it and stuff. But that's if you want to do all that. I just made it um, with no flour or anything, uh, no dumplings inside of it. I just put carrots, and um, that was it. And mm-hmm. you can have it liquid, like real loose, or you can have it real thick. Um, I like it loose, um, but if I'm spooning it over rice and stuff, then I'll make I'll leave it a little thick. And we're not in Utah. I was just so. <laughs> ready to say, did it take you 12 it did hours not. to make these? <laughs> we, once we were, I'm going to tell you all this story. But like, okay, mm. we were in Utah up in the mountains. <laughs> and we tried to, well, I tried to make yellow split peas. I said, all right, this is nothing. It's going to cook up in like two minutes. Done. No, it, it didn't. Days. It just didn't. It. I thought it would, and it just didn't that never, um never that thing took it. about three whole full days to cook it, it was that, due to the altitude and we're not exaggerated it definitely was <laughs> she tried it one day i said you know what you have to take no. this over <laughs> i'm done, <laughs> I'm done. I, just I, turn it turn on the stove yeah. and let it cook she let it cook again all day the thing still didn't cook all right I think that's why people eat a lot of canned food. And then, there, yeah, right? so I said, I'm not ever doing. And when we did eat it, it was doing. still kind of hard. Yeah, it was crunchy. <laughs> yeah. So crunchy. It's, it's like, oh, well, it's good enough. <laughs> so I said, I'm not doing this anymore. Right. So every time we, I go up to Utah, it's canned anything. products <laughs> all day. Like, that's it. All day. But God, uh, God. no, these ones didn't take forever to cook. They actually took. About 15 minutes to cook. The uh, right amount of time. Okay, okay. I had a, I had a question just before yeah. we keep going because I, I had a thought. I was like, if you blend up, like, if you blend up the beans into a powder, it's probably going to cook faster than if you leave it Yeah, but that'll, that'll like uh, mess with the texture. Mush. Mush. It'll be like a paste almost. Yeah. But you could like put it on a sandwich or something, right? There. I guess. I mean, yeah. if that's your, like, that's your flow. No, I, was just, I was just curious. No, it, you know, it can work as like a um, like Pure in replacement of mayo or something like that. Yeah. Oh, a spray. But you have to, you got to add some, you know, Seasoning. depth of mm. seasonings and stuff in Make there. Make it thicker. But it can work. Yeah. That's an idea. Yeah, I'm thinking. That's an idea. Yeah! I see your brain. I see your brain. Big brain brain activity. (laughs) She's going to text me tomorrow. Guess what? I'm in here making that. That that probably won't work. I don't don't think it'll work. Guess what? I'm trying. I'm powdering (laughs) up these split peas. (laughs) No, but I'll give you the recipe for the Trinidadian doll soup. Mm. So um, you're going to take about two cups of yellow split peas. Um... And you want to rinse and drain these a few times to get all of the impurities out. So again, that's two cups of yellow split peas. Um, you're going to need about eight cups or more of water, depending on how you want your um, consistency of the soup. You want less water if you want it more thicker. More thicker. You want more water if you want it, you know, more loose. Mm-hmm. Um, then you're going to need about eight cloves of garlic. It's a lot of garlic here, but... Mm. We Trinis love our garlic, and you got to have some flavor attached to it. Is the clove so, the little piece, or is it the whole thing? Um, the actual cloves. Just a little It'll bit, probably just equal a little. like about a head or so, okay. depending on well, how big well, your garlic, head, you know, your clove is. Yeah. Okay. But you need it for this recipe. Because mm-hmm. um, regular yellow split peas, when people, when, you know, um, you're making it up here or regular in general, um, you can make it with like a bunch of seasonings and stuff like that but you know we got to add our seasonings our trini seasonings to it to make it extra unique so um that's eight gar- garlic cloves one whole onion two whole carrots um and chopped and typically you don't put carrots in there in general uh when you're making it traditionally but i just put it in there is it because it has a sweetness to it just a little extra something, you know oh, what I mean? Okay, okay. You need a little yeah, crunch, crunch or yeah, something to what? bite into. Yeah, something okay. else. Yeah. You can put whatever you want in there, but I think <laughs> carrots pretty much okay. Um, then so that's two whole carrots, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, uh, three teaspoons of turmeric, three teaspoons of cumin. Uh, we call it jeera in Trinidad. Um, 
-hmm. one tablespoon of brown seasoning and any brown seasoning you can use you find it at the caribbean store or even you could use soy sauce or coconut aminos that's still considered brown oh, seasoning brown. oh because um, like but we have our own we use the maggie I was one like cinnamon <laughs> 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 No, it just adds a little bit extra flavor in there um, that you need for soups and stews and a bunch of other stuff in okay, okay. uh, Trinidadian cuisine. So um, three, tab three teaspoons of that, uh, one tablespoon of brown seasoning, two tablespoons of chopped thyme, fresh thyme, uh, two teaspoons of black pepper, a half a cup of cilantro, and a half a cup of bandanya, which is shadow benny or... Um, our cilantro in Trinidad. Mm. So um, that's what bandana. you're gonna need for that. Bandana. So you're gonna, not a bandana. Shadow bandana. Oh, bandana. Shadow oh, bandana. Oh, do you remember? The oh, bandana. you remember. There you go. What did I just say? <laughs> did I just say it? Do you remember? No, I remember. No, okay. okay. And it's not a bandana. It's a bandana. It's a bandana. Banya. Is it Say it together. Bandana. 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 No, it's Trinidadian. Bandan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so you want to start off getting your um, split peas rinsed and washed. Then you're going to add some water to the pot, about eight cups or so or more. Um, and then you're going to add your, let that boil for a little bit to soften up the split peas. And um, then you're going to add your onions and hold off on putting the carrots in because you don't want it mushed up. Mm -hmm. You just want to add it maybe like five minutes before being done. Um, then you're going to add all your seasonings and stuff, everything that I just said, and a little bit of the cilantro and a little bit of the bandana. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to let that cook and just kind of soften up. And if you don't have a whisk, uh, well, no, if you don't have a, um, we call, we use a swivel stick to soften the stuff up, the split piece up. But if you don't have that, you can use a whisk or a potato masher just to kind of stomp on it a little Wash bit. It up. Okay. Not powder. Uh, <laughs> not powder. Uh, no. Just a little bit, just to get. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> You see how they try to like do all this extra extra stuff? But the mashita man. But he sounds Nigerian. You sounds Jamaican. Jamaican. You just I don't know my God. No, we gonna get the visuals. I know you're visualizing. I think it's good that you're holding off on the visuals. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How you gonna get your flow? Yeah. But look out for the cookbook. Yeah. Just look out for the visuals. Wait. Yes. So I got is. a question. Yeah. Oh wait, let me finish okay, this yeah, one yeah, yeah. part. Okay. okay. So after it's been sauteed and um, after it's been cooked, you want to get heat up a pan with about two tablespoons of canola oil, not olive oil, because olive oil burns at a high temperature. So you don't want this. You don't want that oil. You're gonna take some canola oil or vegetable oil. You're gonna add about a one tablespoon of whole cumin. Whole cumin here. When you put it inside of oil and you let that heat along with four cloves of garlic from that eight that I mentioned earlier. Just chop it up and put it in there. You're gonna let that heat up. And if you want, you can put um, a scotch or a, a habanero pepper in there to kind of, a whole habanero pepper. So you wanna make sure and um, heat that up to medium heat or so, just enough for the cumin seeds to toast up. And when it starts popping, then you know it's ready to just be dumped in the soup pot. And we call that process chunking. We call it, it's time to chunk it. So if you know what chunk is, that's what it is. You take oil and whatever um, spices and stuff that you wanna heat up, and what it does, it just creates this just aroma mm -hmm. that's gonna resonate throughout your house. Mm -hmm. And the minute you, dump that in there, the oil is gonna splash a little bit and it's gonna create like this delicate little flavoring of like soup stuff. <laughs> just, it's gonna be delicious. Hey. So you just stir that up Chunky and then you're mug. done. And that's it. Well, that's it. It's not bandana, it's a bandana. Bandanya. Bandanya. But that's hey. it. That's the yellow split peas. Ooh. And um, hey, we're looking yeah. forward to tasting it. So my Supreme question star. is. Supreme star. Can you or have you mixed the split peas and lentils and have you done it with potatoes versus carrots ever? Or would you? Okay, you, you're asking if I mix. Can you mix the lentils and the split peas? Like, would you 
make that like you can do a multi bean chili or a multi bean. You could something. do whatever you want, <laughs> but that's you not something I mean? that ain't no. <laughs> I mean, if to to make chili, I would probably cook the lentils, but not to an extent of um. Wait, you will make a, a chili no. lentil? Yeah. What? Yeah, but you can't <laughs> overcook the lentils because then it's gonna be like soup. Soup. So you want to part? Well blend it in the powder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. You want to make a little bit? Wash it up. Chunk it up. Light it up. Chunk it up. Chunk it up. Hey. This is the chef of the cons, man. And, 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 you know. What it do? You, you give so much baruch. You know, obviously, um, you know, in, in our home front, we eat so good, man. We eat so good. Feeding the tribe. You know what I mean? And she feeds the tribe, man. Shout out to all the chefs out there. Yeah, chef we got the chefs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sam in the building. Yeah, chef Sam, yeah. man. Out to Aqua Ooh, Sam, man. Wee. Always yes, bringing it all bam. together for us. You know, this, everybody here is an equal part of this. You know, whether you uh-huh. see him now, see him in the front, see him in the back, brother nature. Aqua Sam is a family, a tribal flow. Uh-huh. For real, for real. We all do it, you know, lovingly, equally, man. And your food, you know what I'm saying, got us all hungry. You know, well, so. we're about to go eat some guac, some yeah. chickpeas, curry chickpeas, oh, some rice, some potato wedges Chunky. with rosemary. <laughs> special request from this, brother. This nature. was a special request. I'm like y'all know I can make other stuff, right? But apparently Correct. y'all love it. So. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> they we'll already had it visualized. They said they are, they already knew. <laughs> Go ahead and hit us with your uh, final drop as we, we're going to do an outro watching one clip. We just do a little, um, it's called Social Scrolls, where we scroll through our social media right, and right. see what's happening. Come, come. We're going to get one clip on the way out. We'll just give us your final drop. All right, final drop this month. I would say <laughs> um, make your lifestyle about what you want it to be. Um, and always think in a healthful manner of what you want to put inside of your body. Because at the end of the day, you own your own body. You have your own power. So whatever power that you think want to go in you or wants to go in you, then you put that in yourself. Um, Being healthy doesn't equate to just being happy. Um, Being healthy equates to this lifestyle that you want to live. And if you want to have this persona or a character that defines you as being true to yourself, then you do that. And that's what's going to benefit you in the long run. We're looking for longevity here. Um, And that's what I would say um, to be mindful of. Just be mindful of yourself and where you're putting your energy and what you're intaking in your body. That's it. And these recipes are to inspire, you know what I mean? So I can't look out for it. And I know you're excited. Bazan cooking with Chef Candy. And look out it's for the in radio the works. show. It's where, in the works. Where, where, where can cooking we find these Candy. recipes, though? You know, I'm still I'm working on this book. Okay. I am. And but it's a process. It's a process because you got, you know, there's a lot going on in my life personally. Yeah. So it's 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 a constant just to get here, y'all. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> just to sit here. You know, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, flowers, but no, it's a flowers, process. Flowers, it's a process. Flowers to so you right now, it will come. I promise you, it will come. It will come. Just come. gotta be patient. Come, be come. patient with me, and I'll be patient with we you. We patiently waiting. That's how we do it around here. Mm-hmm. Let's check out a clip, man. I think we got time for one. Marcel's gonna uh, put one up for us, and we're gonna see a clip and <laughs> talk about it as we. Get out the door. We close on. Close okay. out. Oh, yeah. Perfect. 628. All right. I think this is from uh, the Soul Bone Podcast. Hey. Aqua type battle going on. Going all the way up. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they get tired of, of the floor already. Get tired of the drive. <laughs> IG's like, man. Hey. Oh, we growing, y'all. We growing. Come, come. Soul Podcast. Aqua Ty is popping off daily. Come, come. All right. We got time. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. see what we talking about. Stargate. Stargate. Check out the IG, 432 Planet Earth, there are 12 primary stargates. Stargates are frequency modulating 
zones ascension passages very valuable pieces of real estate on mother earth whoever controls the primary stargates controls the energy the entities the frequency that can come in that of mother earth if you charge a certain stargate with a certain energy underneath the earth the crystals giant crystal technology goes up and it charges the ley lines or the brain of mother earth so many of the wars fought on mother earth on planet you might think that it's for oil but it's actually stargate number 10 in the middle east you might think you know for example egypt stargate number four so these are very valuable pieces of real estate and earth is universal stargate number three three six nine twelve the way out is the same way we came in Cool. Three, six, nine. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Three, six, nine. <clears throat> I wonder if I could, like, buy a piece of land with a Stargate on it. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably. It's probably somewhere. Well, I, and pr we probably <laughs> already Texas surrounded right by them. Exactly. Yeah, and don't exactly. even know them because they done knocked them down or mm. repurposed them looking like a, something else. Else, yeah. That As always, right? Kind, kind. But definitely uh, the Stargates, the portals. You know, shoot, I watched a video where a man made a portal in his bedroom literally took the frequency and kind of tuned it up and wound up or, or and where he opened it up he was looking into sedona arizona when the when the portal opened up wow so you know <laughs> travel vibe is high mountains on the side hey, life in arizona let's get it hey. digging this aroma hey yeah, so bone podcast we did it again Kinda. we did it again any final drop from the cons mm. said candy gave drop. her final drop any final <clears throat> drop aqua top that's up final drop uh you know again feeding off of what chef condy said you know it's definitely what you put into your body is what mm. you're gonna get out of that that also goes with your mind your just existence whatever you take in is gonna be what you project out to the to the world so uh. Definitely, we kind of have us the year of the dragon. Let's go. We yeah. popping all the way off. All the way at 369 CJ <laughs> yeah. Battle. Let's Final go. Drop. Yeah. It's high over everything. That's right. Final drop. Hmm. Man. I'm just, I'm excited about, you know, after hearing that recipe, I'm like. Drop the dog. Oh, man. Final drop. Drop the dog. <laughs> no, if I had to final drop about anything, <coughs> I'd just like to say how I'm looking forward to exploring some of these new lands that, you know, we got to see with our own eyes. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to the first Drop Nation trip beyond the poles. A little cruise or a flight, you know what I mean? Go check out some resources because I mean, stargates. yeah, it's <laughs> all it's all the, possible, and it's all air, like man. so. Like if we could take a flight to, you know, Chile, we could go a little bit further. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, push the, the line on them. Yeah, so that'll be exciting. Hey, Shout out work. to everybody yeah. reconning and getting the maps ready and paving right. the way and just you know. Yeah. Uh, my final drive it's right man. here, man. It's my around. final drive. Yeah, yeah we're super. <laughs> it's I think it's upside down. Oh, but yeah. It's all. It might, yeah, might be. It, might it not be. What's the direction? You sure? <laughs> Maybe I had it right. It's all about hey, perspective. Final drop, man. Um, doll, doll soup, doll hey. is the door, and we walk through another one with you. Uh, you know, top of the soul, soap on podcast. Uh, we did it again. Tribe. <laughs> Dawa, oh, Ping Chef Kani, Zion, Marley, Dawa, Da, Dawa, Da, the Five Eyes, Ma, M H O, we Ma, Chef Kani for always she doing what it do. Brother right. Major yeah, Sam and Dawa Da right. to all of you all, and we appreciate you tapping Girl, in and tuning tune up in. with us on the Soul Bone Podcast. Oh. Shining like a diamond that's already on, trying to reach the top of my soul bone. She got perfect timing, I'ma always know How to bring the top of the soul bone